Okay. We'll go to number three, which is the swearing in of five Yuba City police officers with uh, Gregory Anderson, Andrew Eberly, Jacob Ernst, Zachary Hedspeth, and Nicole Gibson. Please come forward. And uh, Chief's already up here. Thank you, Mayor. We're going to have to speak loud. I think we're having a little issue with the microphone. So if you guys would step up here. What we're going to do is we're going to do the constitutional oath of office with all five of them. And they're going to have a selected family member or friend come up and pin their badge on. As I look out in the audience, I see, I don't know who's seen here. Mike, how many years you got on? Uh, 27 years. Right now. Brian? 22. Yeah, 27, 26 years out here of experience. Retired um, lieutenant over here. And all the way down to our newest uh, people that just successfully completed the field training program. And then Officer Martin is currently go through, going through there. We have a wide breadth of experience, and we're very fortunate to have five new graduates. Four of them from the Butte College Police Academy, and one from the Sacramento Los Rios uh, College. So we're going to swear them in, and uh, looking forward to having these guys start their FBO program shortly. Some of them already have, I think, second day or something like that. All right. Do you solemnly swear, swear that I will support and defend <coughs> the Constitution of the United States and the Constitution of the State of California against all enemies, foreign and domestic, that I will bear true faith and allegiance to the Constitution of the United States and the Constitution of the State of California. That I take this obligation freely, without any mental reservation or purpose of evasion. And I will well and faithfully discharge the duties upon which I am about to enter. So help me God. serving four years in the United States Navy. Um, he chose law enforcement as his path and put himself through the academy. And while in the Navy, he was trained as a naval foreman. Um, so we have his mother and father come up and stand back. Mom. <laughs> it's all in a family. Charles has been a police 
police officer for 29 years. Mm-hmm. The last 25 of those was due to security <coughs> department. Coming up tonight, we have Jacob's wife, Kayla, and his son, Ian. <laughs> Zachary Hitchcock. Zachary is a uh, resident of Yuba City, married to Chelsea, and has a young son. He and his wife served three years for youth with a mission in Chico, Yuba City, Honduras, and Guatemala. Prior to, prior to entering the police academy, he worked as a paramedic. I believe it's like I County EMS, correct? Next tonight will be his wife, Chelsea. Next we have Nicole Gibson. Nicole is a native of Nevada County who currently resides in Oroville. She is married to her husband Dan and they have a son together. Prior to entering the police academy, she worked as a nurse. Her husband Dan's going to take her back. Cuba City officers, this is for your guys' sake and your family. Um, I think if you want, we can probably get everybody together outside for some additional photos. All I can say, that's a lot of family support. These things are way low. We don't have any sound. Almost none. They're not working, though. <laughs> no. You're getting it good? Yeah. It's just the house speakers aren't working. Okay. Okay. Thank you. Time to remodel. Yes. They're still filing out, so I'll give them just a little longer. Where'd they all go? <laughs> yeah.